Hi there, I'm Phil Thompson from StreamingChurch.tv here to show you how you can set up your vMix live encoder. vMix is really a great encoder. I encourage you to go to vMix.com and then where it says uh, free 60-day trial, click the download. It'll take about a minute or so to download this onto your computer. Then you can click the file, open it up, go through its uh, uh, wizard setup process, and uh, you can launch vMix. And you may have a question, go, well, what happens after 60 days, Phil? And then what do I have to do? Do I have to pay for this? Can I still use it? And the answer is yes to both. You uh, don't have to pay for it after 60 days. You'll just have really a, uh, you won't be able to have all the features and the resolution that you stream is going to have to be a little lower, but you can buy it, uh, the free trial. You can actually purchase it and it's very reasonable, something like $60, $70. And uh, it's it's just a great encoder. So you've downloaded it. What what happens next? So the next thing you want to do is open up vMix. It will open up, and this is what it looks like on your computer. Go over here to the bottom left-hand corner, and you'll see Add Input. This is where you will add. Uh, click on it. You'll add your cameras. You can add audio. Uh, camera, if you have a video capture device, which most of you do, uh, it should be under Camera. You can click on that. There'll be a little drop-down here. I'm going to go ahead and choose one particular camera here and uh, go ahead and go ahead and hit OK. And you do need to keep an, keep an idea on the resolutions here. Uh, if you have a free trial, you may have to lower your resolutions. I'm going to just lower mine right now just for the fun of it. The rest of this this should be uh, a default. Hit OK. And uh, there you go. Got, a, got one camera. I'm going to go ahead and add one more camera just to show you how to do it. Um, I have another one, and I have just a uh, laptop here, so I don't have video capture devices, but there's the other one. Hello. And so audio, again, the same thing. Just click Add Input, and you can add your audio inputs for there. Now, so the next thing, and by the way, this is how you can toggle back and forth over here, and I would just really encourage you to go ahead and use, uh, go to vmix.com. They have some nice tutorials, or uh, just go to YouTube and and, and look for vMix on YouTube. They'll show you how you can do different features here, a lot of great features. So the next question, of course, is how do I put my credentials in? How do I stream? Go down here to the block that says streaming down here in the bottom. Click the little gear, and you probably will have your destination open up here. Probably will open up to a default of a custom RTMP. Now, you don't have to use this anymore. Some of you Flash Media Live encoder users are used to putting in a long URL and all that. You don't have to do that. Just click the drop-down list and guess what? Streamingchurch.tv is there. Choose us, streamingchurch.tv. Don't choose those other guys, okay? And then you want to enter the username that we give you, the credentials. And by the way, if you've made just made a free trial, you'll need to ask us for credentials. Support at streamingchurch.tv. Enter the username. Enter the password. Let's see if I get this right. And then you want to make sure you click, click login and update. I did. And if I had the wrong credentials, I would get an error. But I didn't, so I should be good. There's your resolution size, frame rate. That's pretty much default. Uh, your quality is important because this is the resolution and the upload speed that you will be using to stream with. And we say this all the time, but make sure you do a speed test at your location so that you know how much upload speed you have at your location where you're streaming, because that's very important. You should do several of those. You could use a speed test like speedof.me. Make sure you have double whatever you set this at. Right now I have 400 kilobytes per second. My audio is AAC. Very important. You need to make sure you do have AAC audio here in this quality setting. Uh, it's 96, so I'm running about 500 kilobytes per second upload. So that means I should have at least 1,000 kilobytes per second consistently at my internet. So do a speed test, all right? So here's something that's very important, and that is the next one is application. This needs to be FF. MPEG. You do have another option here of FMLE. Use FMMPEG. And you may have a problem if you happen to get a password that has a slash in it. Now, if you happen to have a password that would be up here that has the slash in it, it's not going to work. So just request another password from us. We will make sure you get one. So you got this all set up here. Next thing you want to do is just hit save and close. And now let's hit stream down here at the bottom and it will turn yellow and hopefully it will turn red because red is good. And yes, it turned red. That means we are streaming. Now you can go to your streamingchurch.tv platform and you can see the video or whatever it is you're running there. Okay, so if you have questions on this, all you have to do is send us an email, support at streamingchurch.tv or if it's during regular business hours or Sunday morning, go to streamingchurch.tv. You can chat with us. vMix is great, especially because 
because uh, as of November 1st, 2016, we're using HLS streaming, and you definitely cannot use Flash Media Live Encoder on a PC version because it only has an MP3 audio. If you have a Mac version of Adobe Flash, you're okay to stream, but uh, VMix, great alternative for this. And if you have questions, like I said, let us know. I'm Phil Thompson. Have yourself a great day.